All right, well, welcome back to Teen Reads. It's great to see you. This month, we talked about alternate history. And this is a genre that asks, what if? So, like, what if history changed? What if Hitler never lost the war, right? So, in my book, Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane, this is the first in a series, my book questions, what if the great library of Alexandria never was lost? What if it wasn't burned? How would our world look different? And it takes place in the year 2025, so ahead of where we are right now, unless, of course, this has outlasted and we're past 2025. And it asks the questions, how would libraries be different? How would knowledge be different? How would people learn differently? Boy, boy, would it be different. So libraries today, right? We're like, let's give out information, freedom for all. Everybody should know, everybody should learn. Well, at least libraries in the United States. The Library Alexandria, though, at that time, only certain people had the right to learn. In fact, women scholars weren't even allowed in through the doors. So, when in this time period, women scholars are allowed, but only librarians rule the world. That's right, librarians rule the world. Maybe hard to swallow, but get this. They believe that only people who are librarians can hold a book that's full of paper. Everybody else has technology, okay? Tablets in which they are disseminated through a type of magic, okay? Uh, occult uh, oculars, um, people gifted with rare talent are able to take the print and use a form of technology to transmit it to people who own what they call fakes, okay? They look like books, but really when you open it, they're like tablets, kind of like what we have today. And so they can change what they think is dangerous information, information you shouldn't have, censorship. And so if you hold an actual book, you are a criminal and you are killed. So our main character, Jess, his family actually trades in the black market of stealing real books and giving them to only the very wealthy. In fact, there even are perverts, people who actually will eat books, okay? They actually eat the books. It's very weird, strange world, okay? But here's the question. In this alternate reality, would something like this actually happen? Would a few people who have knowledge in one place, like the Alexandria Library, would they actually hold on to it and keep it? Well, take a look at history and take a look at what some people do when they have the power and other people don't. And it doesn't seem like it really would be that different from what we see today. So it is a very plausible idea that this is the future that they live in. What ends up happening in my book, and I'm not going to tell you the whole story, is that Jess's family basically sends him as a spy into the ranks to become a librarian. And he learns more than he ever bargained for. There is intrigue. There is death, there are horrible things that happen, but most of all, you start to recognize how important it is to be able to have freedom of thought. Very intriguing idea. So I hope that you enjoyed your alternate history book that you chose, and you gave some thought to what if things might be a little bit different, just like what if you might make a different choice in your life. So until next time, happy reading.